Pokemon fans, I have an interesting opening for you guys today. I went out and I found some Team Up Dollar Tree packs. I haven't opened up Dollar Tree packs in a while, nor have I opened up this set in a very long time. So I'm super stoked to get into these. They didn't really put this set in boxes. I guess it just wasn't printed enough for them to consider that a, a bulk pack to put in with like more of the modern sets. I know this is the last thing that's in standard before it goes out. So I was kind of hoping to open some of this, because I, I don't think I opened much when it really came out. For some reason, I don't know if I was just a little bit out of it. I was definitely running the channel at that point. I need to go back. But uh, yeah, I'm going to get into these while I'm talking, but I found them. Okay, good. They do, they do have that little code card. The little stupid insert that they're still printing with old XY <laughs> stuff on it. Glad you haven't changed Dollar Tree. Ooh. Energy, Blitzel, Pidgeot, Rare. Very pretty, very pretty. Uh, we'll count the rares as hits. I'll put the energy off to the side. Commons will go here, and then hits will hopefully go in the middle. You know, pending us actually pulling something. But I found these up at a, uh, a Dollar Tree near my friend. This is the second thing that I got when I was on my little trip to like the city where he lived. But I noticed it the other day when we were getting some drinks, and I was just like, oh. I saw this like, so it was a Sun and Moon box. Just with, you know, Sun and Moon base set. And I was like, oh, that's kind of interesting. Don't see that. I was like, maybe I'll do that to open it. And I looked in there and had a bunch of team ups sitting in it. It wasn't filled to the brim, but like, you know, there's probably maybe a good... I, I left another 20 or so packs for whomever else might come across it. So I don't know if this has been like already berated and like hunted down for its stuff. Oh, I forgot about these water memory cards. You know, I know we're, we're probably going to get some reverses, but I don't really know if we're going to get too much else. So I have these all to open. Hopefully we get some hits, but... In the case that we don't, I know I featured them here before, but I uh, I buy through Average Ape uh, Cards and Games. I would already did that one opening where I showed off the package that I got back from. It was very, very sweet. Wow, we're getting reverses like freaking crazy right now. Um, but I got another pullback from, well, another lot back from him from his Christmas video that he did that had Wizards of the Coast era cards in it. Um, so every flip that you had was a Wizards of the Coast card, which is super cool. But we'll talk about that in a second. We got a dangerous drill. Yo. <laughs> I have been on it with the secret rare trainer cards lately. Yo, we spent $1 on this. Oh, look at that shimmer. Holy shit. I, okay. Okay. I, I'm, I've been wrong. I've been wrong before. God, I want to go back and buy the rest of these if they're still there. That might be fate. I might have to go back up. Oh, okay, okay, everybody, we're just gonna clear some stuff over. Put you in the hit pile. Okay, that, that should help us uh, pay back the $20 I spent on these packs. Did I already open these? Yeah, these are the open. We've only been through four. Five? No, five. Okay, no, I'm throwing the packs wildly. That's my fault. But, uh, okay. <laughs> and I guess I'll still show it anyway. I was gonna do it in the event that we didn't hit anything, but uh, as I said it, lo and behold, <laughs> we got something, boys. Holy shit. Dangerous drill. I, that's my second one of that. Really good at pulling doubles, but at least it's something that's remotely cool. Um, but uh, yeah, I got their Wizards of the Coast hollow hits. I have three of those, and two of them had bonus packs attached to it, which was Shining Star V, which if you don't know is the new Shining Fates equivalent. Shining Fates is going to be the English set that is coming out in February. But I got two of the Japanese packs, and I got some pretty nice stuff out of there. And I'd like to showcase uh, some of the types of cards you get with it, in case you aren't familiar. But it's, uh, it's my first two packs of that that I've ever gotten. Thank you very much. I don't think I would have gone out and bought a box had I not done that drawing anyway. And that was super fun. It was a really nice Christmas present from him to all of us. I, I just feel like that was really generous to give away Wizards of the Coast era cards in general. And uh, like a lot of them are in good condition. I'll, I'll show the ones that I got. But uh, my favorite one, thankfully, of the three is in the best possible condition of the three of them. So that's pretty cool. Keep it to our side, I could be. See, this is more what I was expecting <laughs> from these. Just three commons and like maybe a few reverses. Okay, jeez, 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 jeez. I'm gonna put all these freaking sleeve things. Okay, not sleeves. I'm putting all the card packs over there because I don't have too many team up art foils. So I'm gonna keep shutting them. Okay. But let's keep cracking, shall we? Yeah, no, no, but I, I, I honestly don't know how they're still there. It feels like the more I kept exploring stores there, the more I'm realizing that they didn't buy it. So like, I don't know, there must just be a lot of Pokemon collectors in my area, because it, it's, <laughs> every store immediately near me is just decimated, and I have all the luck when I get out of this area, to be honest. Hitmonlee, brother, my team. I don't even know if any of these have been rares, I'll go through it for the recap, 
because uh, I think this mighty unit is. I'll do myself the favor and put it there for now. I can't check all them. That little tiny symbol is way too small for my dumb eyes to read. Um, I should really just stop slow rolling them, but like it makes getting a dangerous drill a little bit more exciting. If we have anything more, I I, I really wanted a Pokemon card. <laughs> I would even taken just like a standard GX. Um, so I'm kind of hoping for that. I don't need I don't need a full art. I don't need anything too crazy. If you want to give it to me, I I won't I won't argue. But it doesn't look like that's going to be it for us. We have about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven left. I mean, hey, getting anything out of this, let alone a secret rare, is more than is more than okay. I think I'm just going to start speed rolling them because I don't think there's too much excitement that's going to happen in the rest of these. I'm not feeling it. Sorry, guys. I think that was uh, my luck for the evening. I think I'm all done. These are all garbage. Yeah, Ooh, okay. A little energy and a little reverse hollow Charmander, which is big old nose. Very circular. Very circular card. Cute art. Oh, geez. Some of these are getting mutilated. I need to be more careful because I want to save them. There we go. But uh, yeah, yeah, that stream is super fun to sit in on. It was just nice watching everybody get their really, really cool Wizards of the Coast cards and opening Shiny Star V. The, the first man's. The first man's. First pack of the night. Got the shiny Charizard. I, I sat there and I was like, I don't know. It's like watching somebody win the lottery and I was like, well, that ain't going to be me. Ooh, an Aegis Slash Hollow. Hang on. Okay. Kind of pretty. I like it. I miss the old Sun and Moon era. I, I don't really. Uh, I was not the biggest fan of it, but this one looks pretty sweet with it. Don't think I've ever had that. I need a new pile. Um, <laughs> I guess you'll go down here for now. How many more do we got? Just a few. Just a few. Come on, baby. Give me something. Give me something. The, uh, the binders are just about done. I'm waiting on... Like, wouldn't you know it? I, I knew I heard somebody say about it, but getting top loaders right now is pretty hard. Um, all the Amazon listings that I saw are like way more expensive than when I first started to buy them. It's like 30 bucks when I think before it was like probably like, I don't know, 12, $15 for it to get like the same amount that I got, which is like a hundred lot. So that's kind of sad to see. So, but I did end up getting them, but they're not going to even be in stock until the end of February, which is really sad. Not end of February, end of January. That's still a long time to wait. And I guess it's because so many people are buying Pokemon cards and they need that exact fit for them. But, uh. I don't know, hopefully they'll be in, then once I finish that, I think I'll do it. So expect the binder update and like all my old school card collection to come out in February. That's that's the tentative plan. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> I wouldn't say we exactly did well. We got two hits out of all of those, but uh, you know, two two hits out of, out of like, so it was two every 10, it was one every 10. And the Dangerous Drill Secret Rare is certainly surprising. Not something I wanted, but hey, we, we take those. I think the gold cards are underappreciated by a lot of people. Without further ado, I'd like to showcase some of the heavier hitters from the Japanese stuff. Um, and this is the first Japanese cards I think I'm ever showing on the channel. So these are your hollow hits from them. Uh, the only difference really being that this border is also silvered with the Japanese hollows. Otherwise, it's the same similar beam of light pattern. Maybe they intertwine a bit more than being like static pillars. But all of them have this similar effect. I got four, because I think you get two guaranteed per Shiny Star V pack, which is super cool. Um, definitely depreciates the value of them, but like considering I'm never going to get these again, pretty happy about it. And then, by far, I think the most underappreciated type of card that you get in this is the reverses, which I'm hoping they do for English. I don't think we've gotten any confirmation, but like that, like that, it feels like a water droplet hitting a pond. That is so freaking cool. I, I, I miss the days of interesting reverse hollows. And I don't think they've been doing enough of them lately. Um, but these, <laughs> these do it for me. These do it for the old, uh, the old uh, caveman brain. I'm loving it. I hope to God they do this for English. Come on, you guys already got the printers revved up in Japan. Give us a little love over here in the English, please. And then I will show you my big hitters from Shiny Star V. First pack had a Toxtricity VMAX. Pretty similar to... You want an English? I think the foil is pretty much the same. I would compare it if I had one, but I don't. And then I got a shiny Indeedee full art, which is pretty good for only getting two shiny star V packs. <laughs> I was not expecting even a baby hit. So this is pretty neat to see. Not my favorite Pokemon, but I think the color is really cool. And I'm, I'm, I'm just happy to own one before the set drops and makes me even more excited to hopefully get my hands on some of the English.
I don't think I'm be collecting too much Japanese just because I, I I don't I don't think I'd afford to really open my horizons anymore. I'll just wait for the English to come out and be patient. But the last thing we got is the Watts Sea Hollows, which is the coast. The first one is a I believe that's Japanese. Actually, wait, I can just look at the other lettering. That is ooh. Yeah, yeah, probably Japanese. I believe it's Japanese. So uh, at me in the comments if I'm wrong. But we got a Japanese hollow dark wheezing, I'm pretty sure, from Team Rocket. Pretty cool. I collected a lot of the set as a kid. I don't think I had this card in English, but uh, it's kind of neat to have it now. I know this one's a bit more damaged. Um, oh, actually, no, I should spoil the rest of those boys. But down at the bottom, actually, no, no, this one's not bad. That's right. This one's actually in really good condition. Yeah, I don't, I don't see any blemishes around it, and I don't know if these little dots are meant to be on the card. I think they are, and actually, kind of improves the look in my opinion. But uh, yeah, this one came up pretty nice. I think the worst one is the next one, like condition-wise, which is the muck from Fossil. Still, pretty cool card. You definitely feels old school. The The artwork is certainly not of the quality. I mean, it, it certainly has its own charm, but I don't think it's of the quality of the stuff we get today, but the hollow pattern's pretty sick, as usual. There's a ton of hollow bleed you can see on the bottom. Maybe a scratch, and then the edges are pretty uh, pretty gnarly on this little fella. That's still cool to have. It'll be a nice little addition into my uh, old school collection. And then my favorite... I, personally, this is one of my favorite base set, base set two, hollow cards in general. And I, I, I cannot pull it out of Evolutions. I've been trying to. If someone wants to send me this card in Evolutions, please do. Just, just DM me about it, please. I really just want one. I can't do it for the life of me. But I got a base set two hollow Gyarados. So thank you so much, Average Ape. This is <laughs> this this seriously made my night to see this get pulled. I, I've been dying to own one of these in any variety. And on top of that, it looks like it's in fantastic condition. If I remember on the back, there's only like maybe some edge around the bottom, a little bit on the top, but it's it's in almost immaculate condition in my eyes, and it's just so freaking cool. I don't know why this art gets me. It, it's oh, thank you very much. But uh, yeah, I think that's really about all I have to say for this one. All right, I'll do a nice little recap just to see how much that dangerous drill is worth, and if it bought me back my twenty dollars that I spent. But otherwise, have a good night, good evening, whatever time zone you're in. Enjoy. Peace.